On this occasion we will discuss the minor prophet Joel. He was a person from the Hebrew Bible, his name in Hebrew is Ewell, and it means Yahweh is God. He was the son of Petuel, a name that has the significance of, persuaded by God. Not much has been aware of the life of the prophet Joel, but it is believed that he possibly came from Judah. It is assumed that Joel was very close to the temple and the priests, for the reason that multiple times in consistent supplications he requested them to gather and give up at the feet of the Lord. His preaching probably occurred in Judah and Jerusalem around 830 to 820 before Christ. The book doesn't determine the authentic time wherein Joel's prophetic ministry occurred. Joel and his preaching called individuals to repentance, so that the people of the Lord would turn away from their underhanded deeds and their devilish behavior. This so what the prophet called to such an extent, day of the Lord, wouldn't arrive. Blow the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, for it is at hand. Joel 2 verse 1 the Lord gives voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for strong is the one who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, who can endure it? Joel 2 verse 11 The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. Joel 2 verse 31 before continuing, we would like to invite you to visit our official page, Origins 88. You can find the link in the description of this video or search for us directly in your browser. There you will find a large number of biblical and historical studies related to the Bible. We continue with the video. One of his prophecies was the plague of locusts that crushed Judah. The prophet portrayed the manner by which the people of Judah would be eliminated for their disobedience and untrustworthiness. This can be found in the first chapter of the book of Joel. Afterward, in the subsequent chapter, Joel reminds the straying people that his God is a God of kindness and love, merciful. All they had to do is get back from their insidious behavior of mischievousness and idolatry. Joel called them to surrender and humble themselves before his God, but not only to repent outwardly, but to do it truly from the heart so he would show mercy and remove their punishment. One more of his prophecies was about the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the times of the Apostles, when the Holy Spirit descended on them and the multitude of people. It isn't known precisely when the book of the prophet was written, certain individuals say that it was before the exile to Babylon, others say that it was after the exile. In his book, the prophet exhorts the people of Judah and, most importantly, calls the priests of the temple to fast, pray and mourn for the genuine repentance of a faithless people full of perversity and wickedness, completely separated from the presence of God. This so that terrible day that the prophet dreaded wouldn't come, a day that he called, the day of the Lord. Joel always reminded the people how good and merciful God was, and that if they abandoned their insidious behavior and devilishness, the Lord would show mercy to his children. Unfortunately, nothing is known about the death of the prophet Joel since the book that bears his name described nothing about his life. 